so here i just sprayed my um tray from the dollar tree i got this tray from dollar tree with this flat black spray paint and then after that dried i uh, after it dried for about six hours i brought it inside i'm gonna start putting on this gray um acrylic paint i didn't have my daughter so i just used a marker and um a roach clip tip to apply the paint onto the tray but these are all of the spray paints and i was going to use the spray paint to color all of the among us minions or whatever but it didn't work out how i wanted it to so you'll see that later in the video but as you can see i usually use the same brand for like the basic colors and then if i want an exotic color or a very bright vibrant color like a neon or a glow in the dark that's when i'll switch to a different brand but i usually just use the cheapest brand from walmart and it gets the job done for me there is no rhythm to how i place these dots i just go anywhere and then once i see gaps i feel that needs to be filled in i do that so just go for it and have fun i do suggest buying the daughter it'll be more perfect but you know a little imperfections give it some character So this is the new tray and this is the tray that I messed up with the spray paint. Um, as you can see it didn't work how it needed to be worked. So, And this tray that I'm showing you has a few scratches in it because I did not set it with the clear matte primer. And this also sat for about a day before I started working on it. So I got some scrapes from who knows where. But as you can see I love the cyan color. And I ended up buying the same thing, same thing three times without knowing I got it and without actually using this color. So today we're going to put one square of it to use. So I'm going to be showing you guys how I use multiple colors in one cut. I'm going to be cutting out the colors that I need. They're going to be 5x5 five five, and how I measure that 5x5 five five is just by the squares that's printed on the back of the photo. I mean the back of the vinyl because I don't have a precise cutting tool. So I just use my regular scissors and my eyes to make a okay cut. And I'm going to do that with all six colors. And then with the white, I'm just going to cut into a horizontal square. That way I can cut out the words and then the outlines of the Among Us characters. But I did not end up using the outlines just to let you know just to let you know beforehand i don't use the outlines but um i will just be using the words from the white so i did waste a little bit but it can be reused if you do something else smaller like this so i suggest getting a box to hold all your scraps just a little tafting crafting oh my god i cannot talk today okay so once you place your vinyl on here you want to make sure that it matches on your cricut design space so when before you go ahead and submit to cut you want to make sure your images that you want in that color are lined up in the correct spot that's why i did boxes that are pretty bigger that way i have some forgiveness and some room because even though you might place it a certain way it might be a couple centimeters off might be a half an inch off you never really know so that's what i'm making sure i'm doing here is measuring it and moving it into the correct place so now all you want to do is weed out everything that you don't need i'm going in with the letters i know i shouldn't have showed you guys white on white i'm so sorry 
but you can always comment down below if you need a weeding video um i'll make sure i have everything organized for my weeding so it'll help you guys out if you need it Okay, when it comes to applying letters or images onto a spray paint tray that I did not properly seal before applying the letters, I always press down with my finger and not the scraper. And not the scraper. So I press down with my finger lightly, like just enough for the tray to fill the words the adhesive from the words and then i'll rip it off hoping that no paint chips you guys i took a risk today and this was the risk but now i'm just putting on all the among us characters i'm just placing them wherever i want them to be placed i'm putting cyan right there because you know cyan is not the imposter and he was kicked from the game so he was voted off the island y'all so he's right there kind of floating and then i'm like dang the cyan is not the imposter it's a little bit bigger than what i wanted so i just start putting everything else random kind of tilting it whatever you know you see you see me So at the very last minute, I decided I wanted to spray paint the back of the tray. I'm going to remove this sticker as much as I can with my hands. And then I'm going to apply a little bit of alcohol and to my craft rag and um, kind of rub it off. I'm not super picky about how much it comes off because it is the back of the tray. I usually don't do anything to the bottom of the tray anyways. So I'm just going to get that done and I'm going to go outside and I'm going to spray paint it. And then we're going to add the light. Okay, so how I add these lights, I fold them in half starting at the tip of where the light, like, when you get these fairy lights, it's going to be like a thicker plastic at the end. Well, the start of that is when I start my fold, and then I fold that in half and glue it around. I hope that makes sense. Please do not mind my little junk corner over there. I have been crafting crazy this week, and you know me busy busy so uh, don't get too mad at me guys it's only for a minute so now we're just gonna go in and hot glue these lights to this tray and i'll be using my finger and i'm like i'm not about to keep using my finger so i decided to pick up this roach clip that i was using also for the painting which you will also see later in this video or whatever to stick it down and i'm sorry that this is a bad angle and i'm really about to stop talking now because this stuff is fun story from here on out Okay, so now all I'm doing after I glue the lights down, I'm just going back in with some more gray dots because your girl 
had to touch it up from spraying a cyan color on the back and then the video is pretty much done i am going to add some glow in the dark for when the lights are off the other light colored vinyl on here will show up and glow and that's it thank you guys for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe share this video with a friend or another creator and thank you have a great day